I find it a real honour that other musicians um, see me as someone that they could learn something from. Um, I've been doing this for quite a while, so uh, I've picked up a lot of stuff, both in church and commercially. And um, it was told, it was asked of me some time ago, Howard, why don't you do something to leave something behind? Not like I'm going to die or anything, but like a legacy. You know what I'm saying? Because there's up and coming people, up and coming keyboard players who want to know how to do stuff and um, there's no point of me learning all this stuff and just carrying it. Amazing, amazing Grace. We've got the usual way. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Jazz and gospel musicians use tritones. And you guys might use it and you don't even know that you're using it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then you start moving. You keep all using tritones. <laughs> I describe all his calls later, yeah, but he's making me go there already, yes. Yeah? <laughs> So if you notice what I'm doing, I'm sometimes hitting the, the root and then going to a dominant seventh chord. You hear that? Which is still a C, still a C sharp. But I've just gone up. So it just throws you for a minute, but it doesn't really. contemporary neo jazzy thing yeah so there's different ways of doing the same song but as long as the melody is still there you can mess about it why I'm here it's because a lot of the stuff that you do right I do in a different way yeah yeah but um, I've never really taken the time out to actually explain mm -hmm. or, or have it explained to me because you know a lot of people come to me and say, you know oh what is that you know what do you call that and I'm mm. like well I don't know I felt it I hear yeah it. yeah yeah you know what I mean so mm. You know, I'm ben I've benefited a lot by taking video footage Great. and listening and, and seeing how you break things down. And also as well, I've spoken to you about yeah, yeah. your voicing. Yeah, yeah. 